Hi! In this tutorial, we'll take another look at Photolab. This time, we'll explore Photolab's creative side. To open Photolab, select any photo on your page. Then, on the Picture Context toolbar, click Photolab. The filters stack on the right contain some of the most commonly used adjustment filters. These filters are not enabled. However, to save clutter, we can remove them from the filter stack by clicking the X button. At the left of the dialog, the Effects tab provides a selection of categorised effect filters. To apply an effect, simply click it to add it to the trial zone displayed beneath the filter stack. The trial zone lets you adjust and preview an effect filter before applying it. To reset filter values, click the Reset button. To replace a filter in the trial zone, simply click on a different effect. If you like the results of a filter, click Commit to add the filter to the filter stack. You also need to commit a filter in the trial zone before you can add a second filter. On the Favourites tab, you'll find a selection of presets. Some of these, such as sepia, are created from a single filter. Others use a combination of filters. The brief encounter effect, for example, adds four different filters. You can adjust these filters individually, or even delete the ones that you don't want, before committing them to the filter stack. If you like the effect of a particular set of filters, you can save the filter profile for future use and apply it to other images. To do this, click the Save Filter button and name your filter group. Over on the Favourites tab, you can see the newly saved filter. I can now select a different photo and apply the same set of filters in one click. That's all for this tutorial. If you need more information, see the How To tab, the Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.